All right, so in the last video, I talked about the probability dente function. Uh, and now I want to talk about the probability mass function uh, because the two seem very similar. So the probability mass function is also denoted as f of x. And we might, we might, you might see something like this. Uh, so we could say f of x is going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0.5, or we could say when uh, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 3, x is equal to 4. Now, the reason that, that this is a probability mass function is because um, each one of these is actually considered as a mass as opposed to a density. Now, now why is that? Well, if we think about it, we could draw a graph, right? And we could have our points, right? We could so we could just number the lines. Let's say one, two, three, four. So right here we, we would have so we'll just gonna do one, four, five. So this is point one, point two, point three. 0.4 and 0.5. So we would have our points at uh, when x is equal to 1, we'd have it right here. Uh, when x is equal to 3, we'd have it right here. And when x is equal to 5, we'd have it right here. So the probability is f of x at that point, right? So that's why we consider it a mass because because um, before we had the density, we, we, we couldn't find it at a specific point, right? Because if we had the specific point, we wouldn't get a probability. We needed the probability to be between, we needed it to be a certain area. But now these points, they're basically like equi equivalent to um, like, a, like a solid object because they actually, there is a probability of it equaling to 1. Um, so maybe I could just add on about the continuous distribution function of probability mass functions. Um, so we could say that um, let's see if I could figure this out. So this is what we the continuous distribution function is usually written this way. So we would write that of x is going to is just going to be for this is going to be 0.1 for uh, x is less than or equal to 1 it's going to be 0.5 for x is uh, greater than 1 and Hmm. Less than or equal to three. This is my this is my guess. Maybe I'm wrong. And then it's going to be one for x is greater than or equal to four. So let, let's let's see. You know what? I think this is wrong. So once x is equal to one we're going to get point 0.1, right? So before that it's going to be 0. So when x is so when x is less than less than 1, the cumulative distribution function is 0. When x is 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 less than 3, when x is less than 3 and it's less than greater than or equal to 1, then we get our point 0.1. Once x reaches 3, so when x is greater than or equal to 3, that's not a 3. When x is greater than or equal to 3, until it's less than 4, it, we're going to get 0. 0.5 because it's the, to the cumulative sum of these two. So we're going we're gonna to draw them out in a sec. And um, once x is greater than or equal to 4, then we get 1. So right here, so this is our graph of f of x. So each of these have a specific weight. So we could say that uh, right here, 
we could say that the probability of x is equal to 0.1, or the probability that x is equal to 1 is going to equal 0.1, right? And then similarly right here, similar, similarly right here, we could say that the probability that the random area of x, remember this is big X, is equal to 4, is equal to 0.5. So basically, um, so we could say that f of x is just going to equal the probability, we're just going to use it in this maroon color though, is equal to the probability that x is equal to little x, right? So they're the same thing. Uh, and that's only with a in the discrete case, not the continuous case. So that's why before we had the probability of density function in the continuous case. So now f of x, right? So let's just graph what this would look like. Uh, you know, I'm going to drag this down. I don't think we need it up here that much, so let's move it over here. Okay, good. So now let's see what this would look like in this case. So we could uh, we could draw our graph like this. And I'm gonna just do a dash every uh every point two. So point two, point four, point six, point eight, one. Okay, and then this is one, two, three, four. Okay, so from from well, x is less than one, we're gonna get um, to from we're gonna start from zero. So it's gonna be going here until this way, right? Once it gets to there, so this is not including. Then once it gets to one, there's gonna be point one until it gets to three. So it's including that. And then it gets to three. So once it's at three, uh, oh, I messed up because I said this was point two. All right. If you don't understand what I'm saying, it's point two, point four, point six, point eight, one. So this should really just be to there. And I'm just going to write these out too, so I don't get confused. So once it gets from 3, it's going to increase to 0.5. Okay, and then once it's at 4, it's going to increase to 0.1. So, so that's basically it. Um, so we would say in, in this case that... Uh, the cumulative distribution function is just going to equal to the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to x. So I could call this example actually probability mass function and cumulative distribution function of a discrete in the discrete case. So that's pretty much it.